Hi guys, happy support of sister day. I have been having a ball. Probably too much of a ball. <laughs> so without further ado, I'm gonna share with you some of the products, businesses, and services. I got this clutch. It has Rihanna on it. I got this clutch from Dimitri. You can shop Dimitri.com. It looks like a rolled up magazine. This is on trend. It comes with a um, chain, which I probably would never use, but you have it there. It's one pocket on the inside. I thought this was cute. It was affordable. Here's the business card. Shopdimitri.com. www.shopdimitri.com. But isn't that gorgeous? From naturallymind.com, I purchased t-shirts. I have um, it in green, many textures, same roots. These are crew neck t-shirts. Obviously, they do come in plus sizes. I have on the red one, where I actually cut off the collar because I like cutting into my t-shirts. But, I, you know, when it's a good t-shirt, I start with the collar and then I stop because I can overdo it. I get a little busy with that. Also, I have the white t-shirt, um, Naturally Mine Goes Pink, which is so beautiful. I love the image on these tops. And here's the business card, naturallymine.com. And also, she has a Facebook page. It's Newly Natural. It's a natural hair support group. So I encourage you to go on Facebook, join the support group. I am a member. I've been a member for quite some time now. And um, if you have questions about transitioning, products, uh, hair growth, whatever it might be related to natural hair care and uh, growth, Go on over, join the group, ask your questions, and the sisters will join in and help you out. I have taken classes given by Spark Wisdom. She is a personality here on YouTube. She's uh, her, her channel is like an edutainment channel where she entertains. There's a lot of variety on there, but she's also giving you very knowledgeable about passive income streams and online marketing, just different ways that you can elevate yourself, elevate your brand, your business, your YouTube channel. Go check her out. Go to coachwithtina.com. That's www.coachwithtina.com. This is my I Say Urban Turban. Okay, it is so cute. And I just couldn't wait to share it. Since Honey Puff is at large, it's like time for me to start rocking my hair wraps and stuff. I've been waiting and waiting. And finally, she's back. Anyway, so you can rock this like four different ways. I have two favorite ways that I'm going to be rocking it, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. I'm it's like wearing a hat, but you're stylish and all that good stuff. So um, you do not have to wear a head wrap under the Urban Turban. However, I am going to just put this on. This is an um, Infinity Wrap that I purchased from TonyDaily.com. Anyway, I'm just going to put this on because when I tried to stick my afro in the urban turban, she wouldn't go in there because she was just too, you know, like that. But anyway, the first way is this way where you have the band in the front. I can't see, so don't be laughing. Ugh. Band in the front, okay, and you just crisscross your ties in the back, real simple. And then for me, I'm just going to do one tie up front and tuck on the sides. It's like a knit head wrap. Anyway, you can actually purchase this online on Etsy. I say creations on Etsy. The um, link is included. Isn't this cute? You better not say it's not cute. I also got this flower. Oh, 
I got this. Now, you can um, request to have like a stick pin if you want to wear it like that. Or you can have her put these clips in. Like if you want to wear it in your hair or whatever. And I figured I would have her put the clips in because if I want to wear it as a, a brooch on a jacket or something like that, or if I want to pin it, because that's what I was thinking. Oh, I want green, gray, and orange so I could just get ridiculous with it. I could always pin this to my wrap. My favorite way to wear it is backwards, which is um, one of four ways. The tails are up front, and then you simply cross them. And you cross them again in the back. And then you tuck them and you fix it so that they're not showing in the front. You just tuck it and it stays put. There is a video tutorial where the young woman, the designer, is actually showing you all four ways on how you can rock this. And in the video, she's wearing this beautiful piece of jewelry up here, which really adds even more exotic appeal to the look. Then you can also push it off of your head and like have some of your hairline show. It's really up to you. My next product is Satin Hands that I purchased from MaryKay.com backward slash A Hilliard One. Anyway, I got Satin Hands. It comes in this bag. With the purchase of $40 or more, you, get, you always get free gifts. So, so far, I've gotten Satin Lips. I've gotten um, Mascara eye makeup remover it's all kind of cute little stuff free shipping my consultant is Adele and um, the satin hands is this one is peach it comes in two different fragrances I believe regular and peach this has been one of their products for years I typically do not purchase Mary Kay makeup but I will purchase things for my eyebrows because I love my eyebrows to be very well groomed so I'll get brushes and eyebrow gel and you know whatever and then I get things for my tired eyes I'll get like that tired eye I don't even know what it's called but I'll get stuff like that and I get my satin hands this is the um, scrub so you do the scrub first you go in with the fragrance free hand softener and then you follow up with the hand cream which is also in peach again that is MaryKay.com backwards slash a Hilliard one you guys I got this lamp this is an aromatherapy heat lamp what you do is you put your fragrance of choice in here like your oil fragrances and then you sit it on top okay and then I'm taking this off just for safety sake but then you can make it hot just to the touch. You can make it as bright, as hot as you want. And then the final time is to cut it off. But anyway, I got this from sightsandscents.com. From the ladies at sightsandscents.com. I love it. It looks like candy. Um, they're very beautiful. They have, I think, at least three price points. Multiple designs for you to choose from. Just head on over. And get yourself one. From Be Divine, Be Natural, I got this um, this little sachet of moisturizing bath salts. I haven't used them yet. However, I did use the Touch Me Body Butter. Oh my goodness. Anyway, the name of the company is Divine Naturals. The website is BeDivineBeNatural.com. And this body butter I've been using it since I purchased it which is uh, February 14th and I use it on my hands and arms mostly I carry it with me in my purse it's there's no shea butter in it so that explains why it doesn't it's it has a little oil it is oil in it but it's not oily so after you finish you know smoothing it onto your skin it dissipates but it leaves your skin really moisturized and it smells like lemongrass it is i love it i love this stuff i thought i would be done with it by now but i found that a little bit goes a long way and i use it all day 
My intent was not to use any of my stuff until I showed you guys, but I couldn't help it when I first tried it. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> My favorite author of all time is Beverly Jenkins. Let me tell you something. I am a collector of her books. This woman is a phenomenal artist, writer. Um, I'm telling you now, I know that the cover of these books looks so romantic, but do not let the cover... Her specialty is African-American historical romance um, like primarily of the 19th century so that gives you an idea of of what you get I mean we're talking about adventure and to me the romance is there it takes a back seat though to the storyline it's like okay you get that that love story in there and it's like oh you know this is nice but then you got that adventure of what's going on during those times. And you get so much true story, some real history. Um, a lot of the care. What I would recommend before I say anything else is you start from the beginning because a lot of her books, like this one particular line of her books, have recurring characters and offspring of those characters. I'm just going over, giving you a generalization of what. Um, that particular line of books are about because I don't want to spoil the storyline. How many people can say that their favorite author not only has a Facebook page and posts on the Facebook page, but she interacts with her fans. She has book discussions. She lets us know what she's doing, what's coming up next. She's showing covers of the books. She's asking our opinions. A couple We're Christmases ago. I had been telling my husband, oh, Beverly Jenkins, I love her, you know. Um, I emailed her, she emailed me right back, you know, blah, 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 blah. And I'm emailing her just saying hello. You know, I'm like, this book is phenomenal. Hollywood needs to pick it up. But then I'm thinking on second thought, Hollywood would probably go in and try and change the story and make it all, just mess things up. But anyway, I digress. I'm like going on and on about it. So Christmas comes and he surprises me with, not only a copy of the book signed she she personally he emailed her and said hey you know my wife loves you blah 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 let me know how much you know your latest copy of a, a signed copy of your latest novel would be and this and that and she was like hey you know you doing this for your wife this is i love this don't worry about it she signed it and mailed it I have that I have that in the vault. The email and the book and everything is locked and sealed in the vault. Needless to say, I had to buy another copy of that book because I'm not going to open the signed copy because it's a treasured piece. I fell out. It was like one of the things where he was like, how you like me now? <laughs> but anyway. She has several different types of novels. You can click on either of, like, Barnes and Noble, Amazon, Books a Million, Indie Bound. If you want to purchase a specific book, BeverlyJenkins.net. This is Support a Sister Day, but I would be totally remiss if I didn't share with you where I got my handmade bow tie. I purchased it from the Whatnot Bow Tie Company of Cleveland, Ohio. You can get yours at thewhatnot.com. You can follow them on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I thought I was going to have to put my glasses on for that. Anyway, there's also a YouTube tutorial that I'll share in the description box where the designer, owner, Mark Matthews, shows you how to tie a real bow tie. This is my first time doing it. <laughs> Not too bad. Anyway, I thought it would be so cute because um, I used to own like the little cheap bow ties back in the day. But I thought it would be so cute to kind of wear these. I could wear them around my neck, on the side, probably for me on the side because I have a short neck. Or in the back, it's cute. If you don't have a big old head, you can put it on your head. Uh, I think it's too small for my head, but... I can wear it around my buns. I can have the bow going to the side, front or back. Next thing you know, it's going to be frozen bows. I came with. <laughs> this is the tag. There is a label in the back, stitched in the back. 
This is the tag that it came with. Very nicely done. I'm really all about that presentation. Beautiful box. I'm saving the box for something. What? I don't know. But, ladies, you can rock these bow ties or you can surprise your man with one. <laughs>